This is a simple code sample for using the log for JavaScript framework. First, you need to download log for JavaScript. Once you download, you get to find a file, a .js file. This is the framework itself, a file with a definition for lots of functions. So the first step would be adding a script element referring this file file you should download before you can move forward and use the library. Here we find a call to the get default logger. This is a function that returns us a reference for a logger object, an object on which we can invoke various methods. If you check the documentation for those methods, you will find that we have, for example, the log met uh, method, trace, debug, info, warn, error, etc. Using these methods, we create log messages. By default, the log messages are displayed in a pop-up window, so make sure that your web browser can open the pop-up window sometimes. Um, the default setting is to block any pop-up window. Here we get to see all messages and we can of course filter those messages just to remain with those we want to see.